Thank you, Dr. Kerry. Uh, I'm Fujimoto. Uh, I came from Japan. Uh, I'm the director of uh, MYC. Uh, my office is in charge of the, uh, promoting the ICT applications. And one of the themes of my office is this environment or climate change issues. So uh, now uh, I want to make a report, uh, outline of the report of Kyoto Symposium, uh, which is the first one of this ITU symposium. And uh, so I will make a presentation on behalf of the uh, co uh, Kyoto Symposium co-organizer, MIC. And uh, this one. Okay. So first of all, I want to start from the uh, outline of the symposium. Uh, Kyoto Symposium was held in uh, 15th and 16th of April. As you can see in the pictures, uh, the dates are very good. Well, very good. So when the cherry blossoms, uh, Japanese cherry blossoms were in blossoms. And the venue was uh, the Kyoto International Conference Center, where, is, where the Kyoto Protocol, as you know, was adopted in December uh, 1997. And also, this is the place uh, where the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference was held in 1994. And the number of the participants are about 260, uh, which includes uh, those uh, participating remotely. In the hall only, around 220 people participated uh, from the wide range of organizations uh, of 23 countries. The symposium was chaired by Mr. Hanazawa. Uh, he is uh, uh, vice president of NTT, uh, director of R&D planning department. And uh, in the opening ceremony, uh, MIC Vice Minister Ninoyu uh, made a, a welcome address, and also uh, TSB director uh, Malcolm Johnson uh, made a keynote address. The symposium was uh, made up six substantive sessions and the last review and wrap-up sessions. Uh, this is the same structure as the, this London Symposium. I would now like to explain each session of the Kyoto Symposium. Uh, this slide is session one. Uh, session one was titled Climate Change, uh, ICTs to the Rescue. This session was moderated by Mr. Levin of ITU. The speakers were from Deutsche Telekom, MIC Japan, uh, Tanba, University of Tokyo, and ITUT. In this session, fundamental issues on ICTs and climate change were discussed. In this session, the following points were acknowledged. Uh, firstly, the ICT sector is experiencing rapid growth. And secondly, the use of ICTs can help reduce GHG emissions, both directly in the ICT sector itself and indirectly through their application in other sectors of the economy. And thirdly, uh, some important factors were recognized as the best way to utilize ICTs. For example, the positive economic benefits through an environmentally friendly approach to business the need for exchange of views on policy development and common approaches to evaluate CO2 emissions or CO2 emissions reductions and the policies to create uh, appropriate incentives and awareness and pro environmental behavior on behalf of individual ICT users. And session two was titled uh, Corporate Responsibility Towards the Climate Neutral ICT Sector. Uh, this session discussed the CO2 reductions in ICT sector from the standpoint of corporate, especially ICT vendor or makers. This session was moderated by Mr. Kukir of The Economist. Uh, the speakers were from IBM, BT, Hitachi, Fujitsu, and World Economic, Economic Forum Secretariat. In session two, the following points were proposed. <coughs> Firstly, each country should take initiatives to reduce the energy required in the use of ICT equipment and systems. And secondly, to put in place an environment 
conducive to such efforts with appropriate incentives is important. For example, um, companies should view energy saving acts not as a liability, but as an opportunity. And companies also should pay attention to CSR, customer service relation, and should increase awareness among company executives. And next session three was titled ICTs for Monitoring Climate Change. Uh, the scientific aspects of ICT, including remote sensing, telemetry, and uh, supercomputers were discussed. This session was moderated by Mr. Kumagai from the National Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Japan, NICT. And the speakers were from WMO, Malaysian Meteorological Service, and ITR Secretariat. ICT, uh, in session three, the following points were recognized. ICT plays a vital role in monitoring and addressing climate change. And ICTs can help in mitigating and adapting to climate change in the areas of remote sensing, climate fo forecasting, and mo monitoring. So pro to promote remote sensing, the following points are important. For example, a cooperative relationship at the international level, the efficient use of spectra, and the greater use of obs observational data and the distribution of information. And next section four was titled ICTs as a green technology. A contributions of ICT to CO2 emissions reductions in other sectors were discussed. This session was moderated by Mr. Maeda, uh, chairman of ITU study group 15 on telecom, telecom network infrastructure. Uh, the speakers were from Cisco, NTT, ITUD, and KDDI. In session four, it was recognized that the full use of e-government or implement, implementation and the adapt, adoption of ICTs in various social systems were important. In addition, ICTs can also be used for dematerialization of goods and services by replacing transport of atoms by the transport of bits. Furthermore, the importance of establishing monitoring systems to forecast and monitor disasters and the capacity building of developing, developing countries to use ICTs were recognized. And uh, the session five was uh, towards a high bandwidth, low carbon future. In this session, we discussed that how we can achieve the objective of GHG emissions reduction through ICT's use and the future activities of ITU to contribute to the, to the uh, global warming issues. This session was moderated by Mr. Despan of Prompt Next Generation Internet Initiative. The speakers were from Climate Risk Australia, uh, Australia uh, Nokia Siemens Networks, TTC Japan, and the UK BRR. This session mainly discussed the importance of standardization for energy saving systems and applications. Firstly, uh, basic recognition. In other words, the positive benefits of ICTs should be promoted to other sectors. In order to do this, it was proposed that ITU should start work on standardization of me methodologies for the analysis, evaluation, and the quantification of the GHG emissions reductions through the use of ICTs in other sectors. And it was proposed to establish a focus group to discuss the role of ITU toward the reduction in GHG emissions. And the importance of energy saving measures, uh, especially for energy N was also recognized. In addition, Application of the, of the Clean Development Mechanism, CDM, under the Kyoto Protocol to ICT's projects could be studied. And the last session six was titled Adapting to Climate Change. Even if the Kyoto Protocol commitments are met in full, there may still be a climate change. 
Therefore, it was discussed how ICTs can help in adapting to new environment challenges. This session was moderated by Dr. Kerry, and this session had many speakers from developing, developing countries, uh, such as the uh, Energy Resource Institute India, uh, the winner of Rayman Magsaisai Award from Nepal, uh, University of Botswana, and JAXA Energy Communication Systems. In session six, uh, it was recognized that it was important to assist countries to show how ICTs can help with disaster uh, preparedness against rising sea levels, extreme weather conditions, droughts, etc. In addition, the following issues were recognized as being of importance in this regard. Disaster preparedness, actions on food insecurity, use of remote sensing, assistance to rural commu communities, assistance to the most vulnerable countries. So as mentioned about various discussions and proposals on ICTs and climate change were done in Kyoto Symposium, but finally, I, I would like to refer to the closing remarks of Mr. Johnson, TSB director. He made a uh, presentation that in response to the proposals uh, made during the symposium, especially in session five, he supported the uh, proposal that ITUT should start the standardization activities to establish the mes mes methodologies for measuring the impacts of ICTs on climate change and also to initiate the work, a focus group would be set up at the next dry uh, TSOG meeting. So this is a report of the Kyoto Symposium, and uh, I won't, so, and in the Kyoto Symposium, besides the conference, the exhibitions by Japanese companies uh, were done to show the activities contributing to the climate change, or CO2 emissions reaction from their response but uh, I don't explain the detail and skip uh, the uh, one. And thank you very much for your attention. And I hope this London Symposium uh, will also be a fruitful one, fruitful one uh, to initiate the appropriate activities of ITU uh, to contribute to the climate change issues. Thank you very much.